So, where do we go from here? The suspension of sports has sent a shockwave of discomfort worldwide. And while our respective fan bases can barely stomach the absence of its superstars, it has taken a very appropriate back seat to the pandemic that has affected us all. Still, no one can deny the power of sports and its ability to unify even the most diverse people. So now we must consider, did postponing the 2020 Olympic Games in Tokyo have the greatest impact of all? This is the, the largest logistical undertaking of any sporting event in the world. The Olympic Games are 207 nations coming together with about 11,000 athletes, an equal number or more media, an equal number or more coaches, and millions of athletes over a two-week period as opposed to a one-day period with the Super Bowl. The planning and logistics of this dwarf any of the other sporting events in terms of trying to rearrange this. Can you refund four and a half million tickets? How do you reorganize 80,000 volunteers? But most importantly, how do you preserve the dreams of 11,000 of the world's best athletes especially those who don the orange and white. So it really, like, it really sucks. Let's be real, it really sucks. I'm not gonna lie and say that it doesn't sting because of course it does. In my sport, especially track and field, the Olympics is the moment. We're not able to go out there and do the sport that we love. Um, and there's some people have been training for months and years to be able to go out there to the Olympics and qualify for the team. And for some people, they only get one shot. I am currently still training. I don't have a pool, but that's not going to stop me from working out. It's been difficult, but I mean, at this point, you know, everybody's been affected um, traumatically. So, you know, you just do the best that you can and just um, and work with what you have and just stay fit so that, you know, when the time does come, you know, we'll be ready to roll. As for the, quote, year off, think again. An article released on March 24th by ESPN senior writer Wayne Drays referenced five-time Olympic gold medalist Nathan Adrian in saying, it's not just as simple as saying, you get another year to train. You're going to be that much better. We were starting to hit our stride, starting to put up some really good times. Now, when I hear one more year, my automatic reaction is to deal with all of that later. I think a lot of us need a little emotional, mental break. First class facilities have been reformatted to fit uncomfortably into every living room, alleyway, warehouse, and garage, all in an effort to preserve their spots in the now 2021 games. As we mourn March Madness and anticipate the regeneration of competition around the world, Think about what the absence of the 2020 games really means. After all, this is one of the few times in its history that the games have been disrupted, each time for a monumental world crisis. The thing that's amazing about the Olympic Games is not really, you know, seeing great athletes. It's the fact that the whole world comes together. 207 nations come together peacefully for two and a half weeks and uh, get along, which is about the only time that ever happens. Yes, I'm talking to the whole planet. Five continents, billion of people. Here, we stand to deliver history. As for our athletes, yes, they'll get to train a little longer and will continue to do so without promises of pay or placement. It's really different from athlete to athlete. You know, the guys like Justin Gatlin, who were trying to make another Olympic team and are, you know, in their late 30s, you know, they got to hang on for another year at a relatively advanced age. It's not like Tom Brady, where he's got a team around him helping him if his level dips a little bit. I mean, if Justin Gatlin's level dips, he doesn't make the team. This is something new for everybody's career. But I don't know. I mean, it's going to affect everybody differently. But for me, I just kind of just keep everybody, keep everything the same and just take the positive um, components of it and focus on those. By hope or by prayer, we wait for these unprecedented times to be behind us and for sports to unify us once again.
So for all those poised to represent Rocky Top in Tokyo, we say thank you. And though we wait for your spotlight another year, your spirit and resolve makes it easy to say, it's great to be a Tennessee volunteer.